morning traders or we're going to start off as we usually do with the dollar uh it's coming off you know it got up to roughly just above its previous high there back on the 14th of july rsi was an overbought territory and it's coming back down now rolling over it's got a bit of support here around this 107 and then lower down there at around 107198 so 1072 that coincides with that 21 day exponential moving average and then lower down from there we've got the 50 day so i'd be watching that level there um, and then back on the upside i'd be looking for a retest of this level if we were to break above there then 110 becomes the obvious uh, next price level to watch the s p 500 found some support here after that massive big bearish candle on the 26th of august at that 50 day simple moving average um, and the 38.2 Fibonacci level. RSI is below that 50 level, um, so short, usually a short the, the rallies approach is used, but you obviously got to look at all the different multiple indicators instead of just relying on one. Um, on the downside, if you break below that 38.2, the next level of major support is at that 23.6 Fib at 3878. And then on the upside, I'd be looking for a rally back up to there at the 50% as well as a 21-day exponential moving average. Um, Euro, US dollar, let's take a look here. Again, the next major resistance level will be here at around just above 1, the parity mark, um, 101. Uh, that coincides roughly with the 21-day exponential moving average and then above there, just above 102, the round number, we've got the 50-day simple moving average. The RSI is coming from near uh, oversold territory. There was a bit of negative divergence here. We can see the RSI made a lower low there, but price made a lower low here, but the RSI didn't confirm that. So selling pressure running out a bit there and trying to get back above that 50 area. Um, cable, again, a uh, bit of negative divergence here too, and uh, we're seeing it rally, but uh, still fairly subdued, 118. I think would be the next major resistance level. And then above there, we've obviously got 119.4, 119.3 at the, around that 21 day exponential moving average. Uh, the RSI is still a lot of room to run before it can be considered overbought. Um, but again, we'll have to see what it does if it does continue to move higher up at that 60 mark, which is marked previous price rally tops. Looking at Euro GBP, it's breaking out. It got back down to that 200-day simple moving average as well as a 0.84 round number. Um, and it's pushing higher from here. Uh, we can see, you know, it's right up to that 0.855 area. Um, so that's another key level of resistance. And we'll see if it can push back up to that 0.86 area. And the RSI, again, is reaching a very pivotal area here. We've seen, you know, I could circle all these points here where it's sold back off and price has run out of steam. Um, but we'll have to see if it does that again. Dollar yen, um, again, you know, with the weakness in the dollar and yields down, uh, the yen's finding a bit of bids here. It got back up quite close to its former high, uh, and the RSI was sort of making some negative divergence again. Uh, in terms of levels, 136 the round number coincides with the 50 day and the 21 day. Um, exponential moving average, 50-day SMA. Um, RSI is above 50 for the time being, so buy the dips approach is a bias to uptrends are still intact. Um, let's move on to the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, bounce of that 50-day simple moving average and into this sort of zone here of support that I drew in this yellow um, rectangle uh, parallel lines. And uh, on the upside, you know, resistance around that 07 area there, that round number. Uh, and if we see a higher sort of charge, then we'll get to that 0.71 round number, uh, as well as just below that 200-day simple moving average. RSI is just above 50, um, so we could probably use that as, a again, uptrend bias. Let's move on to commodities. Uh, we can see here that gold is still kind of in the doldrums below that bottom of that range support at 1750. Um, and we're now quite close to that 1725 area. We didn't drop back down to the lows there below $1,700 an ounce. For the bulls, you know, you want to take price back above that 1750 support. You've got the 21-day exponential moving average and the 50-day simple moving average just above there. Um, 
RSIs below 50, sort of heading lower. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. Again, dollar and real yields will be driving that. Um, so let's take a look at Spot Brent. So Spot Brent got right back up to this 50-day uh, simple moving average at around 105, 104. Um, the RSI is just above 50, so you could still say uptrend bias in play. Price is coming back down to its 200-day simple moving average. Will that provide support? We saw this little indicator here that I created. Um, essentially, it got quite close to negative 15% below its 50-day simple moving average. Um, and price now has mean reverted back up to its zero line. Uh, so it's no longer a, a mean reversion play and oversold. Um, and now we need to see what it does around here. So $100 would be the support level. I'll be looking at it above there, 110 if we see if, if we see price continue to push higher. That's it for today's episode of Technical Tuesdays. I hope you've enjoyed it. Join me next week for another episode.